Hello, Groovers. Now we've got everyone starting to come back in. And yes, we have got the fabulous Ivor. I'll just refresh this page. Unfortunately, I'm not streaming this on. Um, come back in. There we go. I'm not streaming on Facebook because. You can only schedule a live more than 10 minutes out, like at least 10 minutes. So it's just going to be a YouTube one. Now, Ivor, I'm going to give you a link. Welcome back, everyone, as you come rolling on in. Exciting stuff, an extra unexpected episode. And it's a big one. It's Big Daddy O's birthday. Woo! Um, I'll pop the link in move that screen down there just a bit of technic technical stuff to set up um hey lady pegasus morgan you're staying up for this um all right so Iva, who has very kindly uh, agreed to blue first in chat hi fran michelle marley j hello and again uh, happy birthday belatedly um, but you've arrived for a birthday episode of the Soft Six. So well done, you. When we do uh, some, you know, when we wish the fabulous Big Daddy a happy birthday, we'll, we'll mention you as well. So there's the link for Iva, who's uh, bought, a, bought some earbuds with a microphone thing for 10 bucks at the Reject Shop. Let's see how that works. Um, it's Rat How... It's rat hour here. My cat is uh, getting a bit feral. She's got the zoomies, so I could get attacked in the middle of this. It could be very dramatic and exciting. Um, hey, Emily, welcome back. Um, so there's the link for you, Ivor. I'll just drop it again for you. Now, I haven't, I haven't mentioned this to Ivor, but in one of the lives that we did, somebody said that they would love Ivor to be Princess Buttercup in an episode. So she might want to be Big Daddy-O because, after all, it is his day. Um, but I'm going to let her choose if she wishes to be Princess Buttercup or Big Daddy-O for this episode. Ah, she, oh, she's got Big Daddy-O in her thing. Hello. Hello, Ivor. I don't know if the reject shops deliver dolls. You might be better off without them. We'll give you a moment to tweak your stuffs. Okay, you've unmuted yourself. Can you hear me, Ivor? It's not looking good. I think the reject shops ripped you off, mate. We could get her doing some interpretive dance. Oh, oh, I hear a hello. noise. Well, hello there. And I'm going free balling. Yeah. Bloody yeah. bugger the reject shop. <laughs> well, it's not called the reject shop for nothing. Oh, well, when I was going in there the other day to buy some fire lighters, right, I saw this $10, you know, earbuds and a microphone thing, and I thought, Oh, that'll be good for Taurus and me and Big Daddy O. Eh? <laughs> You're fine without them. You're fine without them. All right. Let's free ball, baby. Free balling it is. Now, um, as you were connecting, in one of the lives that I did, somebody said that they would love an episode where you play Princess Buttercup. Now, this episode is Big Daddy O's birthday, and I'm perfectly happy for you to hi biscuit. Um, to wrong. well, no, I'm happy for you to play Big Daddy O because it's his special day. Um, but it's entirely up to you if you'd like to be Princess Buttercup. But I just think you are such a great Big Daddy O, and because it's his birthday, yeah, it's nah. roll. Yep, no, I'll stick with Big Daddy O. Bring it on, bring it on. And um, everyone's loving your free balling comment in chat, which is great. Um, <laughs> yeah. So what I'm going to do, I love all the conversation, lots of people making friends and all sorts of stuff. It's just fabulous. The Soft Six is bringing the world together, Ivor, bringing the world together. That, that's what I like to see, bringing the world together via scamming. 
I love it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly shit we're already up to episode 17 and i've only uploaded to episode 25 so i'm gonna have to slam the brakes on and just drip feed everyone an episode a show for a little while because it yeah it takes about three hours to do each episode but it's worth it it's a labor of love it's just finding the time to actually do it yep 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 um Oh, Lady Pegasus said you get what you pay for. At the end of the day, the reject shop is like the fish that John West rejected either. Oh, Lady Pegasus, don't hurt my feelings. Oh, no, it's a bit of unhealthy cynicism at this hour of the night. Or oh, healthy. $10 to play Big Daddy-O and, <laughs> no, you know, you know what it is. You know what it is, people. I'm not bloody set up for this scam and business. I don't know what hole to put the microphone in. Well, look, I think the less stuff you've got, the better, because I watch Kip Boger and he's actually got, like, um, a virtual fake computer and um, fake bank websites and stuff, and I keep thinking... I wonder if I've got the ability to create all of that stuff. And then I'm like, Tori, no, just stick to the romance scammers, stick to the romance scammers. Yeah, don't complicate it, Buttercup. No, no. no. So what we're no. going to do, we're gonna, um, I've got, we've got 15 people watching, I reckon that's a good number to hit the road with. Um, Morgan is concerned there more, might be talk more talk about holes. Um since your night with Suck My Dick, uh, 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 Ivor, we've also had, um, as you saw tonight, well, you may not have, but there's been talk about porn. Um, no. he, he told me that um, if my sister and I went to the camp in Syria that we would be sent to the guard cell and tortured and his, his version of torture was light up your pussy, whatever the fuck oh. that means. Oh, no. Yep, so uh, just be warned, he's he's getting comfy and rude. Right, I'm in character now. Burn your pussy, I'm there. Here I go. <laughs> and Lady Pegasus says, you know I love you, Ivor, and I was just having a lend of you. We know that, Lady P. Oh, look, darling, where I've been tonight, you wouldn't want to know. I've been catching, and I won't mention any names, but I've been off catching a scammer that I've been following for two years. Lady yeah. Pegasus knows where I've been. But anyway, let's go soft, people. We're going to go soft, everyone. Yep. Um, as Happy 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 says, the soft six putting an end to soiled underwear around the world indeed. So settle in, everyone, and let's kick this show off. Now, firstly, I'm on the wrong screen. Hang on. I've got to get onto the scrolling screen. Okay. Here we go, Groovers. The soft six, a modern day tale of love between a scammer and a princess. Play the, the music, bitch. Wait, wait, wait. I've got, and you just settle down, Big Daddy O. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get the screen all set up in proportion. Yeah, but I heard your pussy in last episode, didn't I? So you play the music. Come on. Big Daddy O's getting bloody cranky. Videos and ask, oh, well, you better lighten up, mate. It's your birthday. All right. So here we go. Cue music. Please. Happy birthday. Oh, shit. It's got voices. It wasn't meant to. Happy birthday to you. Okay. I like voices. Hey, big daddy. Oh, happy birthday to you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no music because I, I thought that was a fucking instrumental. So here we go, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Soft Six, episode 17. Happy birthday to you. And tonight the voice of Big Daddy-O is being played by I Have a Problem. <laughs> Where we left off, Big Daddy-O was demanding Princess Buttercup tell him about the, tell him about the tomorrow and she left him like you lovely viewers hanging. Let's not forget as well that he actually said these words, you permit me fucking some holes. Jesus. I know, Ivor. I mean, Big Daddy-O, much romance. What a guy you are. Tonight, oh, 
Tonight there's a bit of fighting. It's good you're feeling antsy. There's a bit of fighting between Big Daddy O and Princess Buttercup. And Big Daddy O also proves he is truly the worst and most boring scammer in the history of scamming. And not only that, he has no fucking idea about romance at all, just in case you weren't sure about that either. Jesus, this sounds heavy. Will, Princ will Princess Buttercup ruin Big Daddy O's birthday? And if so, did he deserve it? Pour something strong if you can. This is going to be a long and difficult journey for us all. Holy shit. It's episode ah. 17. Happy birthday to yo. God, guys, in, in chat, just, like, just hug each other. Just hug each other. Yeah, cry in the corner. This is getting serious. Sure is. We will talk about that tomorrow. Have you read the book for the children? No, the staff did it, but I must sleep. Tomorrow is a big day. Good night, Big Daddy O. What's happening tomorrow? <laughs> You're awesome. I'm already loving this episode. <laughs> My good honourable man, Kiss. My princess, I asked you about the tomorrow. <laughs> My princess, oh. I'm sorry, you can do it again. Do it again. Get fired up. We're going to have a fight, apparently. My princess, I asked you about the tomorrow. Sorry, Big Daddy O. You said you were going to base camp and it was getting late and I was tired and we had to start moving the orphans to their new home yesterday and again today. It's a crazy time, but at least the castle will be quiet and clean again. Hello, my princess Buttercup. How are you doing? I missed you a lot, my princess. What are you doing now? <laughs> God, if you, you're starting out strong, if it gets to the fight bit, you're going to be yelling. It's brilliant. Big Daddy-O, you message so late these days. I was asleep and dreaming of, oh, God, typos again. I needed glasses at this type point of my life, by the way. Um, I was asleep and dreaming of you when you messaged me dreaming about going clubbing with you in Syria, dancing to Eminem, all that cool stuff. I too miss you like a hole in the head. <laughs> <coughs> My princess, you have forgotten something. Oh, really? Oh, no, I haven't. It's your birthday. Happy birthday to yo, happy birthday to yo, happy birthday, Big Daddy-O, happy birthday to yo. And then I sent him this. Mom, you are my angel, darling. My heartfelt greetings to you on this special day. I love mom. Happy birthday, mom. I just remembered you that, my princess, you don't love me again? Ah, sorry, Big Daddy, oh, wrong picture from my files. Keep calm. You're the birthday queen. That's for a woman. Oh, dear, I really should give my pictures different names in the files. One minute, my wonderful man. Happy birthday to a great guy, to the greatest guy I have ever had the privilege of knowing. I don't understand. All oh, this image you are sending, my princess, this are for ladies. So you <laughs> don't even have me in your heart? That's not true. The last one is for you. It says you're a great guy. Happy birthday, you magnificent person. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> there. Is this better? I told you about some things I need for the birthday, but since you waived it, but you know I will if I was in your position. Whatever are you talking about? We talked about lots of presents for you, Big Daddy-O. 
one minor detail. You didn't give me the address where to send everything. You do not sound like a happy birthday boy at all. You refer to me as a magnificent bastard? <laughs> My princess, why all this? <laughs> Stop it. You are magnificent. And it's an Aussie saying. It's not meant to be mean or rude. It's also from an American movie that I thought you of all people would know. And where are you getting all those files from? I thought you said your phone spoiled. <laughs> My princess, I don't understand you anymore. Wow, it's nasty big daddy -o again, I see. I also told you that Nimrod, Nimrod was getting me a new phone on the weekend. It's Monday now. I now have a new phone. Shit, hold on, there's a bloody thing there. Oh, and you have all those files just today he bought it. My princess, you know I'm in the camp here. I won't be asking for anything from if not that I'm here. <laughs> okay. I'm a, rich, oh, I'm a rich military man, just that no access to my account here. And the no, no access to my no, money. And no, no, and no access to fucking English by the looks of it. But anyway, <laughs> carry on, my buttercup. And no access to manners either. Rich mm. reality man doesn't even realise you could Google photos. Okay. I've had the phone for three days now. I do not like the way you question me and how sometimes you are so mean. The last time we spoke, we had lots of laughs and things got sexy and now it's back to big grumpy yo again. I would have thought on your birthday you would be happy and tipsy and wanting to have more fun with me. And for the record, you're not the only person I know who has a birthday this week. My mother and my sister Felicia also have birthdays and when I was looking for your birthday picture, I saved some for them as well. So... That's cool. You never told me that your mom is still alive. But my princess, how do you expect me to get tipsy when there's no drink? Birthday cake and all that. Sounds like he's scared mum might come between him and PB's money, says Rebecca. Yep, what a man child. Mm -hmm. You know who whines? Babies. <laughs> that, was, that was Marsha. You said they would buy you drinks and food at the base camp the other night. And as for the cake, where was I meant to send it? I have been enjoying my colleagues' own and now is my turn. Nothing to show for it. When I have a caring and loving wife like you. Why are you sounding like a crybaby? And then I'm shouting, you have never told me an address where I can send you anything. I don't remember saying that I'm going, oh, buy all that by myself. And my princess, I need some money to do that. My buttercup, if it means borrowing me some money, I don't mind. I'll pay back ones and back. Yeah, right. I was so happy to see you were online, but you're making me so angry and sad. I don't know if I want to talk to you tonight. You're making me so sad. Oh, so you want money, but all you've done is be mean to me tonight? Your timing is terrible. My princess, I'm not mean to you. And I don't mean to make you sad, but just I will be inferior here at the camp if I do tea, do like my colleagues. Yeah, so what he said in an earlier episode was that his colleagues have been paying for drinks and food and parties and because it was his birthday, it was his turn to pay for all of that shit. Mm. Just filling in that little gap. I'm sorry if I have been so mean and rude. This is what you said the other night. My mattress and all that, you know I have to buy some gifts and drinks for the birthday. 
inferior to your colleagues. Oh, please, you're inferior because you don't have a birthday cake? I do not understand you tonight. You're like a different man. My princess, don't get me wrong. Just that I have to organise a day together party for them. So you keep saying, yet I haven't heard from you for a few days and now it's my fault you didn't organise things sooner? And then I said, okay, let's, so this is in the Facebook group, let's get a little interactive, peeps. The next bit is much better if you listen to this at the same time. Sick, simply click the link and hit the play and keep reading. Mm. Mm. I'm going to get a copyright claim, but that's all right. Um, Don't hit it, my princess buttercup. I'm going to. It's just an instrumental um, too sexy for my scam. Too sexy for my scam. Go okay, back to the other screen. Give me a sec. Here we go. Take it away, Chongo Bongo. Big daddy -o, where the fuck are you? Oh, my princess, you are the only person in my life of which I trust. You have not been online because of network issues here. Just give me a second, I'm just turning the music down a little bit. Yes, it's, it's cutting up. Is it? Boom, I just got blown up a little bit, but I'm okay. I've turned it down, I've turned it down. Do you want to read that again? My princess, you are the only person in my life of which I can trust. I have not been online because of network issues here. Okay, then, let me ask you this. If not having a day together party makes you inferior to your colleagues, who paid for your big birthday party last year? I was not in the camp last year by this time. And my birthday was not a big one because nobody celebrate with. Dear me. Well, if your colleagues are your friends, they can put together a party. It's about being with friends and they should be understanding. It's your birthday after all. My friends. Oh, sorry. My friends. <laughs> no, I was about to the song. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. I'm sorry if I made you sad, but all my colleagues here don't have access to, to their accounts. They're love and caring ones. Show them love. That's why sometimes ago I told you I was jealous of them. Jesus. Then Louis says, this still going? Wish Dexter had another season exciting as this thread. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of Dexter action. Better serial killer. <laughs> yes, but you want all of these things, yet no address to send anything to you, and now you're asking for money and it's nearly 7pm here. How am I meant to help you? My princess, I'm so, so sorry is coming late now. If you love me the way you say, you can still look for an alternative, my buttercup. What alternative is there other than fly to Syria and deliver the presents, cake and money myself? Q advert for Western Union. Yeah, if you love me, find a way. Go fuck a hole, Big Daddy-o. <laughs> Go Marcia. I love Marcia. <laughs> yes, he uh, refers to vaginas as holes. So save Robbie. G'day. Welcome. He says, Ivor Problem has an incredibly adorable voice. There you go, Ivor. Thank you, Robbie. Then I posted this little payment option and there's a Western Union logo right smack bang in the middle. There really is a gift for everything. <laughs> Criminals wear many masks to try and earn your trust. Don't be fooled. Can you please help me? I need you to send me money, etc., etc. Be alert. Yeah, Go to westernunion.com forward slash stop fraud. Perfect. You are confusing me, Big Daddy O. You want so many things, but have given me absolutely no directions on how to live to deliver anything. 
Just hold on. So, my princess, what's your plan? I just need to put up some things for them. Really? Did you not read what I just said? Other than a carrier pigeon or me flying to Syria, I have no idea how I can get supplies to you today for your colleagues so that you aren't inferior. Hang on a sec. Shut the fuck up, silly on Dion. <laughs> Since it's night and not possible again there, how are we going to do it? They said two heads are better than one, Tasmanian. <laughs> So kind of ironic, there's two Tasmanians doing the reading this evening. <laughs> At this rate, I don't think two heads are going to be enough. How about an address? Oh, hang on, that's you. Yeah, you're oh. the middle. Well, 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 my princess, try something. It's better. Okay, how about tomorrow? How about an address? I will send you that letter. I think I meant letter. I just have to buy them some gift, even if it is condom and shaving pit. <laughs> <laughs> a condom and a sh I will buy you a condom and a shaving pit. This yes. Is, this, is his, this is for his colleagues. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anything as far as from my princess, I will appreciate. Condom and shaving <laughs> won't be too far. Here we go. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Is that, that's Marsha again. That's Marsha again. She was amazing. Is that like a, a shaving and condom pick combined? <laughs> yeah, I'll just say, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. Yes, say, so, Robbie, the Tasmanian devil is an actual animal and you're listening to two of them right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ivor and I are Tasmanian devils, that's for sure. All righty. Why do you give your colleagues, senior officers in the US Army, condoms on your birthday? I said even if, or do you have better plans? I'm still astounded. I'm sure all of their partners who've sent them expensive gadgets will be thrilled to know their men give each other condoms at birthday parties. Not like that. <laughs> I was just saying, for example, or what do you think I should buy for them? Personally, I don't think you should have to buy them anything. It's your birthday. They should be showering you with gifts. Just not condoms because you said you wouldn't cheat on me in a threesome when you go out clubbing. Yeah, I said that. That's okay if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> the people in the the people in the group were gold. The the audience participation was gold. Uh, oh, cool. Panda says, I was looking for one that said end him, but it just didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Is this some unusual American tradition? That not American tradition, just the way we relate here at the camp. Well, I wasn't sure. I, I do know Americans have some funny traditions like TPing houses and following a weather forecast from a groundhog. You never know. <laughs> I'm happy you made me laugh again. <laughs> oh, good. I love happy laughing, Big Daddy-O, but angry, bossy and a little bit nasty, Big Daddy-O, not such a fan. And I do know your job is stressful and things can be hard for you. But remember the laughs we had the last time we talked and it got quite hot and sexy? That was so much fun. Okay, my princess. Thanks for that. He clearly doesn't remember because it clearly was another dude at Scammer HQ. Yep. Um, oh, and then Liz is pretty much saying the same thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's you at the, at the top. This your profile 
picture here looks different. It's the same one. I chose that one because I'm on vacation, like the photo you sent me of you on vacation. Oh, I can't wait for us to go on vacation together. And then I just pointed out that the little picture that PB was using is one of Britney Spears on vacation in Blue Bikini. <laughs> <laughs> okay my princess i love that where will you go or where would you like to go on vacation oh anywhere would be wonderful with you what about north korea How's everyone doing in chat? Everyone's coping in chat. Yep, yeah, looks like everyone's doing all right. <laughs> Are they okay? Are they okay? I can't see them. I think there's pulses. I think there's pulses. Or what do you think? No, they're looking good. They're looking good. Okay. Right. We'll keep going. <laughs> Another perfect day in our North Korean paradise. <laughs> Very good. You have to read the rest of that one. A clip for you. <laughs> I am clipping here. Oh, here I go. No, I would like us to go to England and watch some football. Or what do you think? Oh, that's a great idea. The summers in England are meant to be just like the winters in Australia. <laughs> well, who is your team, though, Big Daddy O? Uh, I love Manchester United and you. I love anyone but Manchester United. Hey. Oh, I face them. <laughs> that is the sound <laughs> that emoji would make. But if I had a favourite, it's Chelsea. Ha ha, my biggest rival. No, mate. It's maybe Manchester United's biggest rival. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's Googling flat out here. Sadly, this debut, viewers, is where we leave you. Uh, not much of a birthday party for, for oh, Big Daddy-O. Oh, damn. Did Big Daddy-O end up having some sexy fun with PB over the interwebs? Or is he still the miserable, needy, pain-in-the-ass, mean and angry shit we've come to know and detest? Stay tuned for the next exciting instalment of The Soft Six. This episode was brought to you by Manchester United and the letters D I C K H E A D. Spelt dickhead in Syria. Indeed. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we leave the soft six. Thank you to I Have a Problem for playing the role of Big Daddy O. Uh, shut the fuck up. Bit of a sad birthday for Big Daddy-O, really. I mean, I've got another episode in me, if you have. Yeah, I've got it in me. So much in me, it's just wanting to come out. Well, Morgan's already, oh, my God, I've just gone to chat and Morgan's gone, one in chat for one more. and uh, One more. One more. All right. God, I'm going to have to sit on my computer for like three days straight and upload shitloads of episodes at the rate we're going. Yeah, no, well, we chew through them because we love Big Daddy, eh? Look, it's a great, well, it's the love story of our time, really, isn't it? How's my microphone working? Sounds great. You sound great. Ah, so I shouldn't have gone down and bought myself a earplug and a microphone. And Have you still got the receipt? No, it's 10 bucks, Tori. I'm not going to complain about that. I just thought, oh, that would be sexy for the soft six. It might it might be useful for something else, so yeah. you'll find yeah, it useful. Like, yeah, I, I know what it's bloody going to be successful for, jamming up my ass. <laughs> well, whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to get some music lined up and I've got to tell everyone that we are now about to introduce another twist to the tale. Please hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed already and the notifications bell so that you don't miss any episodes. Um, but, yeah, things are about to get juicy. I like the juicy. And hit the subscribe button. 
thank you. I'm just trying to get into my YouTube studio at the moment. Give me a sec. Alrighty, audio library. And I'm just going to pick, I need it to be romantic. Okay. So we're not, we're not following on after the birthday party? Well, you'll find out. You'll find out what happens. Oh, well, this is scary. <laughs> Look, it was a weird thing because you'd get different people being the scammer and sort of things that were happening just stopped happening and other things were remembered. It's very weird. So I reckon when, you, you must have had five Nigerians at you. Yep, around yep. the clock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, you don't know who you're going to get. Um, and it, it's when you're actually doing it, it takes a lot of time because sometimes there can be five or ten minutes between each comment that comes backwards and forwards. Yeah. And it, it messes with your head. Um, has someone given me a thumbs down? Nasty pasties. Oh, That's piss great. off. Thumbs down. It's in It's big daddy -o. <laughs> Could be. Someone in chat said um, maybe it's Chongo Bongo. I don't mind. It's a YouTube algorithm. It's still engagement, man. We don't mind thumbs down. Get a thumb up your ass, dickheads. Might need to get a glass of water. Hang on. Oh, she means a glass of wine. Don't worry about this girl. She's down for the wine. No, I'm not. I'm getting a water, I swear. You'll hear the tap in a minute. Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, that's her covering up, pouring a glass of wine. <laughs> I know these scams in Tasmania. You can't fool either. Hmm. You sure about that? Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, vodka, vodka looks like water. Get on with the show, bitch. Jesus, if I had that much vodka, I'd, I'd probably die. Okay. <clears throat> now, Ivor, I'm going to let you, which I've done with a, uh, with Mel Mel the other night, I'm going to let you choose. Do you want the music to be number six in my dreams? That's kind of appropriate. Or um, Casablanca Caravan? Look, just play the music and get on to Big Daddy-O because I'm really in character here. That's your choice, Big Daddy O. Number six in my dreams or Casablanca Caravan. You're making the decision. Well, get the caravan happening then. All right, here we go. Well, oh, this is jaunty. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Soft Six, a modern day tale of love between a scammer and a princess. The Soft Six, episode 18. What's cooking good looking? You can read this next bit, Big Daddy O. What? Hang on a sec. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Are you still with us? Yeah. You can read the next bit. What? Oh, no. I'll do it. Where we left off. No, Big that's Daddy your show. I'm not reading the dialogue, bitch lips. <laughs> Where we left On off. my smartphone and the uh, print is looking very squinty. So you, <laughs> do the, you do the dialogue. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Here we go. Where we, left <laughs> Where we left off, Big Daddy O was a big, fat, giant man baby and proved once again that he is by far the worst Nigerian scammer of all time. Tonight, does the fight continue? And will if Ivor stays in the mood she's in? Does Princess Buttercup find out where to send all of the shit she's bought Big Daddy-O? And who is the young and handsome stranger lurking in PB's kitchen? <laughs> That's me two hours warming up for Big Daddy-O. Come on. Whatever, <laughs> whatever the time of the day or night, you know you all want it. So here it is, episode 18. Fuck, are there really 18 episodes? Of the soft six, what's cooking good looking? What is your team though, Big Daddy O? 
I love Manchester United. And you? I love anyone but Manchester United. But if I had a favourite, it's Chelsea. Oh, my biggest rival. Eat it. A soft six. Have you got your popcorn? Yes? Awesome. Here we go. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> Take it away, Big Daddy O. Haven't I read that? Um, the second bit. Uh, can do I have to do this again, Tori? Uh, 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 uh. No, my no, prince, no. The my next prince. <laughs> so how is the house now and everything that's happening? I wish you could be in your arm. Oh, I wish you. Hang on, that doesn't make sense. But anyway, I wish you could be in your arms. <laughs> so do I. The house is clean and quiet now. The cum nuggets have gone. I'd love you to be in my arms now too. I can't wait to be home and be with you. Where is our home though? And Kathy notices they never react to kids being referred to in a nasty way. He just goes right on by. Most people would question that for sure. Mm-hmm. Kathy's on the ball. Yeah, he's got no fucks to give about the children. Not a Nelly. Nope. Is that me? Mm-hmm. You said you don't want us to go back to Portland, Oregon. Maybe we can just look for a house somewhere else and make a happy family. Or what do you think? Oh, here, here I go with what do you think again? <laughs> yeah. It's fuckwits back again. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't say that. I said I'd like to see it before I commit to living there. And, yep, yeah, everyone's pissed off with the, or what do you think? Every time, yep, yep. But Jenny says I've actually started saying this to people and I guarantee over in chat everyone's saying it too. Mm-hmm. Angie said it in a manager's meeting in work the other day and nearly spat out her coffee when she realised what she'd said. What will you do the first time you see me? Oh, I'll eat you up, my princess buttercup, and we will not leave our room for one week. Or what do you think? Again. (laughs) Mm, That sounds very sexy. Will you light my pussy up? (laughs) (laughs) In in my defense. Hurry up. I'm quite Quickly, I can't read these. Oh, yes, my tongue and my big daddy <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, your big daddy Six when soft, almost nine when hard. Yeah, you got it right. It's all for you. <laughs> all almost nine inches, you little beauty. You do, you, do you like that? Oh, yes, Big Daddy, of course I do. I like it much more than the soft six, if only he knew. My princess, why is it that any time I call you, don't pick my calls? Because you never ask me if the coast is clear and you can call. You tell me all the time how we are a big secret and I was finishing my dinner and the staff were with me. It's mm. rude to just call without asking if I can talk or do you want the secret blown? Not like that, my princess. I thought they all gone to bed. This is why you must ask me. It's 8pm here, not midnight. Okay. I'm sorry that, my princess. So what did you eat for dinner? Seriously, I was trying to get the dude to do sexy talk and we go into the dinner thing. I had a delicious chicken curry. What have you eaten today? Uh, Coffee for now. What time is it where you are? This is 1.12pm. Then you should be having lunch. Yeah, but it's not time yet. Oh, that's when we would have eaten lunch. What time do you eat your rice and sauce? By 3pm. 
Princess Buttercup checked the world clock at the time and he was spot on. It was 1.12 p.m. in Nigeria. Not Syria. Nigeria. I am from Nigeria. I was expecting you to go, oh, my God, that's inc incredible. But <laughs> This boy doesn't obviously eat at regular times. It's hard, man. No. Well, two episodes ago, he said he always had lunch at 12. So, again, liar, liar, pants on fire. Oh, what is you sauce? love him. You say Butter right. Buttercup, you love me. What the fuck? Where are oh. you? This is me. Oh, what is the wait. sauce? You say rice with sauce, but I wonder what the sauce is. Chicken sauce and some salads. Oh, that's better than what I thought. I thought you meant like just with ketchup or tomato sauce, as we call it in Australia, or Worcestershire sauce, soy, fish, oyster, salted caramel, you know, something like that. <laughs> what the fuck is chicken sauce? <laughs> Take a whole chicken and liquefy it. Ah, hot sauce, baby, baby, chicken mama. And look at what across the picture of the chicken it says, I regret nothing. No, don't, don't, because I'm starting to snort. <laughs> Snorting's good. We are military men, so they treat us like that. That was what I expected, which is why I'm imagining was <laughs> prison. Huh? <laughs> oh, you love? <laughs> Man, I was fucking laughing. <laughs> I see the chicken on the back of the sauce. It's cracking me. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I find this fucking funny. It's meant to be. Come with your dead chicken sauce. Quick. Chicken sauce. Chicken. <laughs> It's from Taco Bell. Maybe um some of our Americans will know this sauce. I reckon there's a bit of hot sauce there. All righty. Um, right. So that's what I expected, which is why what I'm imagining was prison food and it made no sense that's all you got to eat. That's why I'm pleading with you for some fun so I can eat right and don't get sick. dun 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 dun, dun. But that food sounds good and the US are not going to let you eat things that can make you sick. How can mm. you buy food anyway? You said you only leave the base to go on missions when I wanted to visit for a holiday. Okay. You don't tea, have to worry about that. We have some messengers that can get it for us, but we do this secretly here because we get caught. Is against the rule here. You take a lot of risks for a lieutenant colonel. Yeah, that's life. Even the life we are living is a risk. You have to be careful. <laughs> it would be foolhardy to get sacked and ruin your stellar career for the sake of some food that's better than rice, chicken sauce and some salads. My princess... Don't think about it that way. Your big daddy -o is smart, careful. Just need your help. I won't be asking you for this, but just no access to my account. And when I'm back, we will have to run a joint account so that when I need money, you can just draw and send it to me. Mm, of course we need a joint account. Yep, yeah. this sounds like a great idea. Everyone and he's out needs it. Oh, yeah. Everyone he's needs a joint account. He's moved on. He's gone from birthday cake to new Ooh. undies to condoms to yeah. cat. Yeah. They're good. Making it rain. This is you. And I hate to be me begging someone for something. Just that I believe we won, we are one, that you are the only person that I can run to now that I innate. 
I need to think about this. Something just isn't right. I want to call the US Army tomorrow and find out why your situation is so dire. It just Alpha. doesn't make sense. Alpha. She's calling the Army on me. Oh, shit. <laughs> I know oh. soldiers. Two of my brothers are soldiers. You can call them if they will listen. And who told you that's what will be the question? <gasps> And I will answer them honestly, for I'm an honourable woman with very high moral standards and an extremely impressive ethical demeanour. <laughs> I love it. I love my princess, but even if you do, they will not consider that. My princess, Buttercup, this is the time I need you the most. Please don't let me down. I need to sleep on this and I do need to make inquiries. I'm not happy with how you're being treated. I know some powerful people in the Defence Forces for every country that is part into the United Nations Treaty. Oh, wow. I can pull some strings and get this sorted. If you wish to, but my job is on the line if I'm implicated in this. Are you in the loo? Well, at the moment, I need a piss. I'm just, I'm just a soldier. I'm a soldier here. Jesus. You can use while you do your wee. I've got a biscuit just bit my elbow. She wants to do that. Right, well, wait. Wait. Big Daddy and me. Hang on a sec. Here we go again. Biscuit's mm. in attack mode. I just had to give her some food. She just chewed my elbow. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I didn't excuse myself from the United Nations Treaty. I should have <laughs> excused myself and said I need a pee. It's fine. I thought I could speak straighter and do a pee, but no. Old Tori down there just listens to my peeing. Well, Got everyone knew in chat because it, it, as soon as you go in the bathroom, it echoes. Hello, so everyone in chat. <laughs> Big Daddy A was having a piss. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I should have announced it. No, not at all. It was hilarious. Yes, Francesca says, Lou Acoustics. Oh, all right. you, you bastards. I can't scam you, can I? I can't, buggy. <laughs> Uh, all right, but where you go? You play a great scammer, but you may never make a great scammer. All right, so oh. poor old Big Daddy, he's worried his job's on the line. Oh. Well, it's on the line if we do. Well, it's on the line if we do this too. I do not need to mention your name if that's what you would like. Them who will, you tell them that's complaining. Or just forget it, maybe. I will look for someone else that will do it for me. What the fuck? I know, such a man, baby. I will say that the person needs to remain anonymous for his safety. Just forget about it. Anytime I ask you for something, you give me excuses. And my colleagues get whatever they ask from their loved ones. As you wish. <laughs> Fuck. So Michelle thinks Big Daddy is about to dump me. Um, yeah, if um, I don't see the funds, I'll be a single loser. And then yeah. I quote the Princess Bride, as you wish, because he's pretty much yeah, said he yeah. someone else to do it. Yeah. Oh, look, he's not, not happy. Man. He's, hey? not happy you. he's not happy with you, Tori. Not he's happy. Not, not happy at all. Not happy at all. Uh -uh. Um, and giant man baby Big Daddy O has returned. Where will those go? Join us after the break. And first, a word from our sponsors. And then. <laughs> 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 One of the TV ads I found. Right. Where were we? Oh, yes. Giant man baby. Wah, wah, wah. Throw the tanty. Same old, same old. Hello. Looks like he's dumping you. Ready? Yep. I will look for someone else that will help. Let just 
continue our love until I'm back, or what do you think? I fucking can. <laughs> yes, we continue slowly and see what happens when you am back. That is what I think. Mm. Mm. You are so mean to me, my princess. Did I say something wrong? You're not a very good listener, are you? Stop saying I'm mean. Those who live in glass houses... Do what? <laughs> ..shouldn't throw stones. Am I mean to you today? My princess, I'm sorry for all that, but I really need your help. Yes, you were mean and you know it. You apologised for being mean. <laughs> Like I said, I need to sleep on this. It's also confusing. I'll speak to my contacts tomorrow and I'm glad you can ask someone else to help with buying the drinks and condoms for your birthday party. <laughs> okay. and, and I'm sorry that I have to say this, but I don't want you to contact me for a while. I need time to think about us and I feel like there are two sides to you. One is funny and likes to laugh and says sweet things, and I like that big daddy-o a lot. But the other side one is like a petulant, entitled teenager, always asking for things and acting like a baby. It's most unbecoming. I will fight for you to have better conditions at the base camp in the meantime. I like to help people in need and I'll speak to my contacts. I could fall for a big, strong soldier man fighting for his country in a war zone, a man who likes to laugh and have fun and who says sweet things. That's the big daddy-o for me. When he's ready to talk to Princess Buttercup, she will be here. Because I was so over this knob by this point. He was just doing my head in. Because you carry bad energy from it. Oh, yeah. Like even though you know you're, you know, mm -hmm. wasting their time and all the rest of it, when they're just so mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, take what? Off. what Try, what you're trying to do here with what I've just read, if if you don't mind me interrupting, is you're trying to kind of, what is it, um, you're trying to say why are you doing this, why are you lying, why are you so, you're asking for the human pulse in a human being and it's not there with these no it's not no nah, no nah, no conscience no no repercussions no oh i've hurt someone no nah, they are just callous bastards they are and on that note shall we continue because we're nearly at the end hurry up before i kill you <laughs> before you kill me is that Big Daddy O speaking or? <laughs> Big Daddy O's here, baby. But they are, so, they are callous bastards, which is why. Oh, in, I, in look, Corey, I, I honestly, I honestly have never hated in my life. I dislike people, but I hate scammers. Yeah, they're despicable. Because they set people up. They calculate it, they calculate it, and they do what they fucking do. And yep. they keep going and going and going. I hate it. Yeah, yep. You, you know when um, when you were a kid and, and you did something wrong, well, you say, oops, that was wrong, and you feel ashamed, correct? Absolutely. Not these bastards. No. No, no, no. Scammers keep going and going and going. And that's why I dislike them. Yep. And I tried to be as sort of obstinate and rude with him as possible. And he still hung around. It just shows how persistent they are because they think they'll crack you eventually. Mm. All righty. So I've given him a bit of a, what I would call a breakup speech. It's basically don't contact me unless you're going to be nice. Oh. So Jackie yep. was like, oh, no, she didn't. Oh, yes, broken up. Look at the cat. Will the, big, will the big daddy O for Princess Buttercup come back ever <laughs> again? Is it biscuit? No, it's not, but it, it could yeah. be. It does look a bit like her. 
It pan does. Yeah. Next scene stare. Oh, every good soap opera has a pan to the next scene stare. And there it I is. Love it. I love this. See you next week. Yeah. See you later, alligator. So there we have it. Wow, what a marathon yeah. I've done about. Well, I've done, I did two episodes with Morgan, two a year, but then we also had the replay. It's been quite a big day in the soft six world. Oh, wait, wait. Mm. Everyone in chat's talking about visiting Sydney and Canberra. I don't think they even care that the relationship could be over. It's over, guys. See you next time on The Soft Six. Love your work, Taurus. <laughs> They've all gone to, um, they're all chatting about Canberra and Sydney and stuff. So. Well, darling. There's been a bit of a little outbreak. A little outbreak? Oh, okay. We'll call it a spike. What are you going to call it? Oh, you're talking COVID. No, they're talking about how there's um, good art galleries in Canberra and growing up in Sydney. Oh, and... oh, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> sorry. They're, they're planning their next tours. <laughs> oh, well, just stay at home. I think I think they're talking, you know, once the COVID has gone. Yeah, well, dream on. Tell them. Dream on. I think it's good for us to all be planning things to look forward to. Just don't book any airline tickets for a while. No. Me personally, I'll strap myself into the armchair and drink lots of wine and... I won't go anywhere because I don't want to infect anyone with the COVID. No, neither do I. I don't I don't think any reasonable person does. I'm doing my bit, Taurus. It's all we've got to do right now is just be reasonable. Mm. So yeah, the soft six. I basically read him the right act because I just thought he's just he's pathetic. I kept asking him for details. I wasn't getting information out of him. And it was taking a bit of a toll emotionally. But don't worry, guys, the show does turn a corner. Um, I've just got to really find some time to upload some more episodes or only do one episode at a time for a little while because we're nearly at the end of the episodes on the blog, which means we start undoing and revealing the next episodes and there's only five hey, so far. Hey, can I be a little bloody nuisance sure do you do what i used to do under the christmas tree and pick up the presents and rattle it and find out what's inside do you ever get the scammer i'm not telling you that you've got to watch till the end oh no <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's not how TV works. I hope you got him. I hope you, like, nah, no one gets scammers. Oh, they do. Oh, they do. Yes, yes, they do. Have a look at the ACCC website, the scam uh, section. Yeah, ACCC website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Have a look at Armchair um, Detective. What a... What what a no, we won't get into that. <laughs> no. Look at him going. Look look at him going. Uh this, uh that, uh no, I don't like him, Tori. No, I know you don't, but I'm not doing a series um about him because I'll oh, have to you're find bloody out stood. No, I'm not. I'd have to find out what size his penis is when soft to give it a name and I don't want to know. Well, he's a dickhead. It it's size two inches. I think you're being generous. One inch. Doesn't matter. Anyway, all I'm saying is, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. I love you. 
I love you too, mate. Thank you so much for reading two episodes tonight of Big Daddy O. Thanks again to Morgan as well, who did a great job earlier today. Um, there will be an episode, yeah. but probably only one tomorrow night. I don't know what time yet. Um, I'll schedule something in. Can I just give a shout out to my channel? You certainly can. In fact, I'll pop the link in chat. Yeah. I noticed today you've got a your little sub number's gone up over four hundred, hasn't it? Doesn't matter. Doesn't hey, it doesn't matter. No, 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 it, but that's great. You're growing. I love it. I don't want to grow. Oh. No, All no, right. it's not about well, yeah, that's good, but what I want to do, Tori, is draw attention to the armchair dickhead that yes. has been making money off the Watts case for two years straight. Indeed, indeed. And I think people can sub to you as well and look at, look at all the stuff that you're doing over there. For sure. Thanks, yeah. You're welcome, Dales. You, you keep fighting the good fight as well. And thanks to everyone. Oh, who right. oh, hey, gorgeous. Don't fucking worry. I'll keep fighting that prick. <laughs> I love it that you're taking him on from across the world. But I mean, he's not, you're not the only one who's after him, from what I can gather. Nah, he's a lion scamming bloody prick. And I'm over it. Well, like I said, keep fighting the good fight, Ivor. I will. Yeah. Every step of the way, mate. Just like me with Chongo Bongo, right? No, it's about fighting for the truth. I honestly don't believe that he should have a channel that's doing bullshit, Tori. I'm sorry. He's no. doing bullshit. I think you're doing a great job of it. And like I said, don't give up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep well, the, the, Ruzek, the, Ru the Ruzek lawyers can't fix him. So it's up to micro channels to fix him. So I'll fix him. All the other ones that believe in, you know, don't do that, armchair detective. We'll fix him. I haven't watched him for a very long time. I didn't like him the first time I watched him. I thought he was kind of I, the only time I saw him was before he got a backdrop and he used to have a really weird something on the wall <laughs> behind him and it made him look like he had a little, not a halo, but like a little crown on his head because he'd sit right yeah, in front yeah, of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that's Armchair Detective. Yeah, yeah. that's Alan Vinicum. But that was a long time ago. That was very early Watts days. The fact that he's still milking it all this all this time later. Yeah, he is, he is, he is. And everyone's sick to death of it. Well, on that note, I think we should all end this wonderful evening. Thank you again, Ivor, for doing a great job with Big Daddy-O who's and just... Thank just, you. Thank you, Tori, for letting me speak. And my pleasure, my pleasure. And um, everyone, make sure you do check out Iva's uh, channel because she is definitely fighting the good fight there. Um, no, it's I don't good. know about the good fight. I right. don't know about the good fight. I just want to shut this prick right up because he's lying, Tori. He is a liar and a scammer. Thank you. We're peas in a pod, Iva. Um, I love your work. Mm. Um, armchair piglet, Morgan says. <laughs> Everyone loves your piglet, Ivor. Yeah, well, I won't <laughs> stop. I won't stop. It's like me with this dude. Yeah. Love you, Tours. Thank you. you. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday night. Thanks, everyone, in chat for hanging out with us. It's been a blast. Yeah. So stay groovy. And remember, don't get scammed. Yes, don't Bye. get...